Hey guys, I'm here today with my first ever Super Tarts haul. Um, if you're if you watch my channel like basic mostly for like um the Bath and Body Works videos and candles videos, I will have some of those soon. I think I'm gonna do like a collective haul of um like the end of summer and fall candles that I've picked up. But lately, and I have still been buying Bath and Body Works. I mean, I'm at that store like at least twice a week, <laughs> minimum like once a week. Every time there's a candle sale, I am in there. Um, it's just like instead of doing like massive hauls, because I, I hauled a lot at the semi-annual sale. I got a lot of candles. Um, a lot of them kind of just went right to my storage unit, and I didn't even do like filming for it. But I did do the filming, those little candles, the four ounces, and things like that. So I did get a lot at semi-annual, and there haven't really been many new candles since, except for the fall ones. So I should do a haul of like the few fall candles I got, but honestly, I haven't really got that many. I've kind of just been stocking up on the summer ones because I'm like, you know what? The fall candles are gonna be there. Like it's only the end of July. Like there's plenty of time for fall candles. So I haven't really been going crazy because why buy them now when they're just gonna sit around? Because I don't start burning my fall candles in the summer. I'm not gonna burn them to review. Like I just I'm a seasonal burner. I'm not gonna be burning them till the end of September or October anyway. So I guess that's why I'm kind of venturing off into the vendor wax world because you know it just I don't know I'm like having fun with it I'm having a lot of fun there's like so much going on in this little vendor community like it's the Facebook groups the people like everyone's so nice and I've just been really into watching everyone else's videos and there's just like so much to dip your toes into there's so many things to try there's so many vendors so many amazing scents and you know, I'm still buying my Bath and Body Works candles. I'm still burning through all of my candles. Um, I want to place a Goose Creek order soon. They have some of their new fall scents coming out. So it's just like a really exciting time of year for wax. I love like August, September, end of summer, early fall for candles and wax. Like I love when all these fall scents come out. So in the meantime, you know, before we get too heavy into the fall, I'm just having fun with the vendors. So Super Tarts actually, when I first started getting into vendor wax like a month or two ago, um, Angela from my clothes smell like candles had sent me a Facebook message and she's like you know if you're starting to get into um, vendor wax I would highly recommend super tarts they're always open you can always place an order her stuff is awesome so I was like okay <laughs> so anyway this is like a little bit of an intoxicated haul um, if you've watched my channel for a while you know I have a tendency to drink and shop <laughs> drink an online shop but anyway, it was like a Friday night and my husband and I had like a couple beers went out to dinner and then I'm laying in bed browsing and somehow like I see all this activity on the super tarts Facebook group and I don't even know what was going on I was just like I'm gonna go place an order so I go to supertarts.com and I just kind of like threw all this stuff in my cart and I didn't even remember what I ordered. Like I, I had no idea until this package came and I'm just like, okay, let's see what drunk Lindsay was in the mood to smell. So that's pretty much what this order was. So anyway, here is the business card. Brandy is the shop owner. And I believe Brandy was um, a YouTuber too before she started this. I think she sold some of her videos up. So super tarts, little star, and then colorful beautiful pictures on the back of all her wax tarts and she does mostly clamshells if not only clamshells i think she used to do other scents but now it's pretty much just the clamshells and then all these little decorations on the wax they're really really pretty so that is her business card so let's get started and i did get some body care too because i figured why not um i think that's kind of what i went in here for i really wanted to try some indie body care and you know, I've heard good things about brandies, so I'm like, let me give it a try. So they all come in these little Ziploc baggies. So to start, this is a lotion. And actually, my husband thought this lotion was the coolest thing ever. So this is called Robin from Batman and Robin. That's the picture on the front. And it's fresh picked strawberries and fresh cut grass. I'm not a big grass or green scent person. And this is like a teeny, I'm not going to use this for my body. I'm really just going to use this for a hand lotion. Um, probably throw it in my bag but I thought it would be heavier on the fresh strawberries but then when I first took it out and opened it and put it on my hand and it's just like a nice thick cream it was actually heavier on the grass and when I first rubbed it into my skin I wasn't crazy about it I was like ooh, that's a little too grassy for me but then once it sat on my skin like I would say maybe three to five minutes later I kept getting like a whiff of my hands and I was like oh my gosh what is that smell and the strawberry smell really came through but it was just made like beautifully fresh 
from that green grass note. And once it settled into my skin and the scent sort of developed and maybe mixed with my own oils, it smelled amazing and it lasted so long. And it was just like a sweet, fresh type of scent. Like you couldn't really, didn't scream strawberries, didn't scream grass, but it just smelled like a fresh, clean summer day. I mean, it was really beautiful. And because it's not overwhelmingly fruity, like I think it's almost a unisex type of scent. My husband actually really liked it too. But the reason why he liked this, so I'm looking at it and I see the back and it says, it rubs the lotion on the skin. It does this whenever it's told it rubs the lotion on the skin or else it gets the hose again. So that is from one of my favorite movies ever silence of the lambs and it's also one of dan's favorite movies so and he like buffalo bill is like my husband's favorite character like he's just he thinks he's hilarious like the whole scenes it's just he really is he's like probably the funniest villain there is but anyway buffalo bill is just like a thing so i like ran over to show him this and i was like babe just read the back of this bottle and he was like dying laughing he was like that is the best fucking lotion you've ever had like <laughs> that is so awesome that it says that on there and i agree so i was really just I think it's adorable. I love that she added that. That just like made me really happy. So then the other body care I got was one of her scrubs. I really want to try it. And this is a fluffy violet candy. Again, it comes in this Ziploc baggie. So if you know, like if you're up to date with the Walmart Sensationals wax, there is a violet sugar um, wax melt from Walmart and I'm obsessed with it. It smells really good. And I thought that this was gonna kind of be a dupe of that. And again, the scrubs are always like, I guess I always think they're gonna be bigger. And like, you know, the size scrubs you would get at like a Bath and Body Works, but they're really like half the size, if not smaller. I mean, here it is in my hand, just like kind of fits in the palm of my hand. They're definitely smaller than I would anticipate, but they are packed to the brim and they're heavy. They're really dense. So it's like, and this is gorgeous. This is like a whipped, fluffy scrub like look at that I mean it's so like creamy and fluffy and it's just like this cotton candy pink it's really really gorgeous um I think it's so cool so again just like with the lotion I'm actually just gonna save this as a hand scrub like I just kind of use the bigger ones like the Bath and Body Works ones and things like that or like the lush scrubs in my shower for like my body like my arms my legs my body and like I like to use hand scrubs because I do work in fitness and I'm an artist, so I'm always using my hands and they're always super, super dry, especially like when I'm painting or working with chalk, I'm washing them like every 45 minutes. So my hands get really, really dry. So I do like to have a scrub and lotion combo at like my kitchen and bathroom sink at all times because I like to exfoliate and moisturize my hands at least twice a week, usually more. It's like exfoliating them with a good scrub and a good moisturizer is what I found to work the best to keep my hands as moisturized as possible. And I don't know if you can tell, but they, I mean, they're not as dry as they usually are. I think I even have a video in here all about like how I have like painfully dry hands. So I do like to keep them exfoliated. So this is just going to be a great hand scrub for me. And it's, you get like, it's just like a sweet floral. It's really nice. It's not the same as that Sensationals wax melt that I was hoping for, but it's still a really beautiful scent. And again, she's got her cute little um, directions on the back here. So I'll probably end up just using these together, keeping them in my kitchen sink and just like using them as my nighttime exfoliator. So that's it for body care. And let's get into the wax here. You can see more like better what the size is compared to my thumb. Teeny tiny, but packs a punch and really dense and heavy. So on to the tarts. So let's start with the one I got two of, and that is Loki's Tricks. I don't know who Loki is or what movie this is from. All her stuff is like pop culture reference, but it's a lot of like action movies or like things I've never heard of. <laughs> I'm really ADD, so I actually don't watch a lot of movies because I find I can't sit through them. Um, but anyway. So Loki's Tricks, I got this because it was lemon icebox pie and I love lemon bakery and then it's got rose jam in it and I love rose jam. I am not a big fan of cereal notes in wax and this has tricks in it, but I figured liking two out of three things, maybe the tricks won't be so intense. Like usually lemon and rose jam scents are pretty strong so I was hoping they would over um, overwhelm that cereal note. And it's actually really pretty wax. Just got that little yellow stamp green. I get that lemon icebox pie bakery note and then the rose jam, but then 
there's almost like this background note that's like blending between the two where it's almost like, oh, what is that? And that I think is what's the trick, the cereal note. And it's just like, I mean, it's that cereal smell. I don't really know how to explain it other than like trick cereal, like that like chalky fruity cereal smell, <laughs> um, which I wish it wasn't in there, but you know what? It's so weak and it's mostly just the lemon bakery and the rose jam, like the prettiness of that rose jam and then the lemon bakery that the tricks doesn't really bother me. It's more just like a little blending scent, but I still really like it. I'm glad I got two. Rose jam, I love in wax. It's a great um, fragrance to blend like any, any time of year. And with that lemon bakery in there, it's just awesome. Cause I actually like blending rose jam wax with tea cakes or blending a rose jam wax melt with um, the vanilla cookie crunch from Better Homes and Gardens. I love rose jam and bakery. So that's what I was hoping this would be. And it is, it's rose jam and bakery and it's awesome. So I'm glad I grabbed two of those. That's like a year round fragrance for me. Next is Tartles, <laughs> Ninja Tartles, Donatello. And this is lavender cream and honeydew melon. So I really am into lavender blends right now. I like um, doing lavender at night to go to sleep too. And I love melon scents, like Yankee Candle Pink Sands. It's like one of my favorite scents ever, and it's a great melon blend. So I figured lavender melon, you can't really go wrong. And this is super strong on cold. And it's got a little, I don't know what that stamp is, but it's got something on there. I really have no idea. It smells really good. I don't really get the lavender super strong. I mean, I can smell it but it's way in the background. I mostly get that honeydew melon. This may be a little too in your face fruity and tart for me to melt going to sleep. I may not put this in the bedroom, but I think this would be a really nice scent just to have like around my apartment in the evening, like getting ready for bed, but not necessarily in the bedroom, but still like a wind down scent just in another part of the apartment, just cause that fruity note is a little strong and a little intense. <sighs> Next. I know, it's like when you talk so much and you're out of breath. This like happens when I teach sometimes if I'm instructing like five different moves back to back to back and then I'm like <gasps> gasping for air. <sighs> this happens, like when you talk fast and you talk so much and then you're like, oh God, geez, girl, breathe. So moving on, Daredevil. This is fresh picked strawberries, Georgia peach and sweet mango. I love strawberry scents, I love strawberry blends. I love how this matches my nails, yes, girl. But um. I don't usually like peach, but I figured if it's blended, it'll probably be fine. I did melt this one the other day. And oh, this smells so good. This smells exactly, this is my second favorite of all the ones I got. This smells exactly, if you remember that Bubblicious bubble gum, this smells exactly like the watermelon scent, which it has no watermelon in it, strawberries, peach, and mango, but to me, it is straight up a Bubblicious bubble gum watermelon scent from when I was a kid. So, so good. Um, I melted this yesterday and I can't really comment on the throw because at first before it melted halfway down It was really strong. It was scenting up my entire kitchen with that bubblicious smell and it was so good And then like an hour later I couldn't smell anything and I was like really searching for the scent But I noticed that the cube like never fully melted so I think I had it in my largest tea light warmer and there's just a lot of space between the little candle at the bottom and like where the mel uh, wax is melting on top. So I just think like maybe that warmer was a little too weak for this. It just like, it was too much wax so I didn't get a good throw. And then also I was cooking. My husband and I were cooking like seasoned and spiced turkey burgers and then we were cooking spinach and mushrooms and like garlic so i mean all those scents going on in the kitchen this really didn't stand a chance like i probably just shouldn't have even melted it in there so i'm not gonna comment on the scent throw because i just had too much going on in my kitchen and like i didn't really give this a fair chance and i think that the warmer i had it in has just seen better days and like it's just that warmer is like not the best one um so yeah, and plus I'm gonna let them cure. I know people say that, cause I asked in one of the wax groups, like how long do you cure super tarts for? And people are like, oh, I just throw them right in as soon as I get them. But some people were like, I cure everything, put it in a polypropylene bag and cure it. So I am gonna let these guys cure because you know they just get better with age. So the stronger, the better, let's just leave them in. So next is President Snow. 
I was really excited about this one for a nighttime melt. This is peppermint rose and vanilla ice cream, white rose, um, which I'm assuming is just like a lighter rose than like a typical red rose. Um, but I wanted to try some minty scents to sleep because I forgot who I was watching. Was it just Jenny? Someone who was saying they like fall asleep to minty scents and I think it was just Jenny. And I was like, oh, I never really thought to try that, but like I can see that being really comforting, especially like my allergies are really, really bad at night. Um, and that's like a big part of the reason why it's hard for me to sleep. So I was like assuming maybe a minty scent, almost like a sinus clearing, like maybe good for my allergies and like help me sleep. So I grabbed this one and first of all, I mean, this wax is really pretty. It's white on top, purple on the bottom, and then you have these little embeds. Oh, this is really pretty. That peppermint is just like creamy from the vanilla ice cream. It doesn't like scream vanilla. It's just like a soft, creamy peppermint, like really smooth and beautiful. And then this like slight little floral rosy note behind the peppermint. And it's very, very pretty and very calm and soothing. And I can definitely see this being an awesome, awesome bedtime melt. May not even be able to let this cure. I kind of want to try this tonight. Finally is my number one favorite from this order and it is Six Flags. Favorite both in terms of how it looks and the scent. So first let me just show you how cute it is. This is the cutest tart, clamshell tart I've ever seen. So you open it up, you've got this little dude on a roller coaster with his arms up like, ah, he's so cute. Um, this swirly, whirly thing. And then it's peach on the bottom, but then it's like total carnival party. Like, look at that. That is adorable. I'm obsessed with this clamshell. This is the only one that has like fun little explosions on the bottom. I think it is just so pretty. It's so fun. Like this just screams carnival to me, like just awesome. So this is sugar dusted funnel cakes and sweet fluffy cotton candy. And I love like cotton candy, not cotton candy, but like carnival scents like in August to September. Like it all started with um, Bath and Body Works summer boardwalk. So anything along those lines, taffy, caramel apple, cotton candy, funnel cake, like anything that you would see at a fair, like anything that I feel blends awesomely with um, summer boardwalk is like right up my alley at the end of summer. So I figured that this would just be perfect. And oh my God, it's so good. Sweet cotton candy and just like that doughy funnel cake. Oh, it's like not cinnamony. It's just like sweet bakery carnival goodness. It is awesome. I love, love, love this one. It could not be prettier. I'm so excited to melt this. I think this will be awesome with just like summer boardwalk and any other type of like taffy carnival type scents I have. And that is it. That is my super tarts haul. Um, just on cold sniff alone. I totally get the hype. Like I see why everyone loves super tarts, like why people go back and order from her again and again and again. I mean, her stuff is just awesome. Her blends are so unique and complex and just beautiful. And I am so excited to let these guys cure and break into them. So that is it for the super tarts haul and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.